Hello everybody. Uh, this is just a quick little winter video. Um, it's December, oh I don't know, uh, 6th I believe. And uh, it's one of the first sunny mornings of uh, winter. And uh, I came out here just to take a look. It is... Uh, it is about 15 degrees Fahrenheit and I came out and I got a couple few bees that are coming out and they're just flying off. Some of see that coming out and just circling around flying out and they just absolutely just disappear. Now some of them uh, have come out and just dropped to the ground. Uh, to die I don't know but uh, there was about four that just came out and uh, I think that uh, you know in the in the winter time you're gonna have losses if you have a colony of about 50,000 bees you know you're gonna lose 30,000 of them by the time winter is over uh, that comes out to about oh about 150 to 160 bees a day that are gonna die on you uh, so it's very very common to come out here and see dead bees in front of your hive out on the ground on some sunny days the the most interesting thing is the ones that 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 fly off you know sometimes I think they come out to do a cleansing flight but that's really not what they're doing those bees left and it's so cold out there they're not going to survive more than a couple minutes I would guess uh, and they don't come back. I think they go off to die, if they can. Uh, others die in the cluster and they drop to the bottom and then the bees come out and clear them out like you see here. You know, um, this is what they do. Uh, it's, it's not a time to be, uh, you know, worrying about your hives dying or anything. I mean, it is what it is. Um, one of the things that I'm learning here is the porch well here's another another bee emerging right there as you can see but you can see the ice forming on the outside and the snow build up and whatnot um, like I said it's 15 degrees out and this bees out already but uh, um, I, I've kind of come to realize that you don't need a porch uh, all it does is is uh, it's a place for ice water and uh, snow to build up in the winter time for a northern climate at least um, even in the south bees come in at a 45 degree angle or 30 degree angle and they land on the outside of the they don't need a they don't need the porch they really really don't um, it also is probably must much easier for them to clean uh, the front of their hive out clean the hive out if they can just drop the bees right right down to the bottom here but you can see right here all the bees that have uh, all the bees that have died and that's very very common in the winter time but uh, you know look at this bee he's coming out I don't know if he's taking in some water or, or what but I'm sure that there are others working inside and they're they're pushing bees from the inside to the out today um, and the only reason that they're out right now is because the sun is shining uh, and warming up the front of my hive. As you can see, I got this Reflectix on here. And, uh, um, oh, there's another one that came out right there. Uh, when you stop seeing bees come out on warmer days, that's the big time to, uh, to start thinking that maybe there's something wrong with your hives. But... You know, I'm not disturbing my hives right now. Um, they're still eating their beast. Look at that. Look at that bee flying. And he's just, he just took off. It's gone. Not coming back. That bee just decided that was the end. Um, but these bees coming out today, um, you know, maybe, like I said, maybe the, the ones feel that the end is near and they just get as far away from the hive as possible. But like, uh, like I was saying, if you when you once you once you don't see this on warm days, um, then you then you probably have problems. Um, there's a bee coming out. 
of that hive right there. He's on the ground, flipped over. Crawling on the on the snow. Don't really know what he's after. What do you think? Oh, there's another bee taking off. But uh, they're all coming out here. Not all of them, obviously, but uh, quite a few are coming out to uh, to say hi to the day. You know, this probably is only gonna, being that it's December uh, 6th or 7th or whatever the heck it is, I never know. Um, and it's 15 degrees outside. You know, not many will come out. If you start seeing on the snow, uh, when they come out to do their cleansing flights, uh, if you start seeing like diarrhea marks all over the front of your hive, um, then you might have a problem. Then you might start having, uh, um, you might start having some uh, stomach issues with your bees, like Nosema or whatever. Uh, one of the failures that I did this summer, and I just for, I forgot when I was feeding my bees this fall, is to give them a little tea tree oil in with their feed. Uh, it helps with their gut digestion, um, from what I've read, anyways, you know. But uh, look at this little guy, you know. I don't know what he is planning to do here, so it is what it is. Oh, he just, he just took off, and he's gone. Very, very odd. You know that bee that we were looking at over here? You know, he dropped down and he's walking, or she's walking. And, uh, you know, she's probably gonna end up just like, you know, this guy right here, or this girl right here, or that girl right there, or that girl right there. You know, they come out, they land, and, and it's dying. Oh, there she is. Now, now she's curled up. And uh, that's it for her. So that's a sad, Sort of a sad deal right there, to be honest with you. One of the things I really want to find out is That's it for her. She's just curling up and dying. I was just looking to see if I could see anything on, on the bee, like a Varroa sitting on the top or anything like that. I didn't see anything, but uh, that doesn't mean there wasn't anything tucked in somewhere. You know, I had this thing on Queen Excluder, and I, I'm not sure that that's the best way to go about doing this. Very, very interesting stuff. You know, taking a look at my other hives here. Nothing looks like it came out of this one this morning. Um, again, with these landing boards, just, you know, yeah, it does melt on warmer days, but uh, getting rid of that landing board, I don't think we need it. I don't think you need the porch. Um, so I'm going to be... You know, as my hives, I as I start moving hives around, 
um, and get access to a bottom board I'll be cutting off uh, that one to two inch porch I, I really really don't think it's needed A lot of bees in there on the bottom, but you're gonna expect that. That looks like a drone there. <laughs> that is a drone. Look at that. There was a, there were drones in there. Hmm. Well, anyways, this is just a real quick video on a December morning you know we're just gonna have to uh, it's a long winter man sometime in February I'll be uh, pulling on warm day I'll be pulling the tops off and uh, and putting some candy boards on and just real quick checking the health of the hive I mean very very quickly but uh, you know, if I can put a little candy board or, or uh, uh, some um, pollen, pollen patty, patty candy board type uh, to, to help them start brood production in the spring, that's what I'm going to do. Well, until next time, happy beekeeping.